Hey, what's up guys, Nuno here. I just started testing this brand new AI design tool called LoveArt, and honestly, it blew me away. This isn't your usual type a prompt, get an image kind of thing. It's way smarter, way more complete. In this video, I'll show you what Love Art actually is, how it works behind the scenes, and how you can use it even if you've never done design work in your life. And yeah, the crazy part, you can start using it for free with 500 daily credits that are more than enough to get real results. So this isn't just another image or video generator. It actually thinks more like a um, creative director. If you're working on architectural visualization, interior image renderings or mockups, 3D model generation, portfolio and presentation design, branding and logo creation, or even visuals for content and e-commerce, this tool can do it all in one place. I got early beta access and within minutes, I was generating full design concepts. You can build out variations and the whole thing runs from a clean, easy dashboard. What really sets LoveArt apart is that it's not just running one AI model, it actually combines multiple top AI tools in the background, like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Runway, Gemini, Ideogram, and much more. They all work together behind the scenes to help you plan, iterate, and generate all from a single prompt. It feels more like a design assistant that helps with concepts, layouts, branding, and visuals all in one place. So here are a few examples to show you what it can do. It can create amazing videos with sound and incredible detail. It can completely redesign an apartment with different styles, or it can create several versions of a poster. Now that you have seen what it can do, let me show you exactly how I've been using it. I'll walk you through how to access Love Heart, how to craft prompts, how to use the dashboard, and how to create professional level designs step by step. So here's what I did. I created a prompt asking Love Heart to generate a complete design board based on just two reference images. You can see those images here, two simple views that capture the style and mood I was going for. The prompt was very specific. I told it to use the visual style and overall mood from the image to create a cohesive concept for a modern interior project. I also asked for a visual summary of colors, materials and textures. Also suggested furniture pieces and decor styles, lighting concepts and overall atmosphere. Also a rough floor plan and a special layout sketch plus a few keywords or tags to describe the aesthetic. And most importantly, I emphasize that the result should look clean, professional and ready to show a client. That part really matters. And so here's what happened. It started with a classic, let me think about it. Then it jumped right into action. First, building the color palette then generating matching interior design elements like chairs, tables, textures and materials. Next, it added lighting fixtures, basic floor plan and even a mood keyword section that described the whole concept in words like Scandinavian minimalism, mid-century modern, natural materials, clean lines and the whole thing packed into one page mood board, ready to use. All of this in a single go. Next, I asked Loveheart to search online libraries for the design pieces featured in the mood board. That part didn't go perfectly. Instead of pulling specific assets, it kind of recreated the mood board again, but this time it added links to some popular 3D model sites. Still useful, but not exactly what I was aiming for. Now, since I know Loveheart can generate 3D models, I decided to test that directly. I asked it to create a 3D model of the leather armchair from the board, and in just seconds it delivered. Fully interactive, I could zoom in, rotate the model, and even export the current frame with a single click. Pretty cool, right? And I kept going. I tried two more objects, a Scandinavian low-profile sofa and a wall-mounted storage system with integrated TV space. Both were generated in a few moments. The storage unit came with furniture already staged inside, 
shelves, decor, and a TV setup. <laughs> sure, some texture glitches showed up here and there, but those are easy fixes once you bring it into your rendering pipeline. So, the takeaway here is, even before you start building anything serious, you can iterate, mood board, and start assembling 3D assets right inside Loveheart. All right, now let me show you this next part because I'm actually in the process of redesigning my own office space. I already know most of the furniture I'll be using, so I added those details into Loveheart and defined the space as being between 3x5 and 3x7 meters. I also mentioned that I'll have two side cabinets placed together. Loveheart started generating options right away, and you can see here some of the different variations it came up with. In the first image, I asked for a centered window, and it actually did place one though the room width wasn't quite right. My space is a bit wider in reality, but I like that it kept some of the decorative pieces I had in mind. Then I gave it more instructions. Add a floor to ceiling curtain, include a desk shelf, which I mentioned earlier, by the way, and it did add a curtain and a shelf, but not the specific shelf I had in mind. So I might need to be clear with that in the next prompt. After that, I asked for a new layout, side furniture on the right, desk shelf on the left and to update the posters to something related more with architecture. And this time, it got much closer. The posters now match the architectural vibe I was going for, and the furniture layout is better aligned with the real plan. I even uploaded my own 3D render as a reference, and LoveArt began to analyzing it to update the visuals accordingly. It takes a moment, but here's what it generated. Now, it's still not exactly what I want, but that's okay what it does give me a clear direction. For example, this composition here, the camera angle, layout and poster placement really helps me imagine how I could organize things in the real space. So even if it's not perfect, it's an amazing idea generation tool that helps me get one step closer to the final design. Now, let me show you something a little different. I wanted to explore a full brand identity for myself under the name Nuno Silva. I've been thinking about refreshing a few things, so I gave Loveheart a pretty detailed prompt. As you can see here, I included a clear set of specs. The brand name is Nuno Silva. The primary color should be a bold blue. I also defined the accent color. And I asked for the whole look to feel minimalist, clean, high-end, but with visual impact. It started generating some initial options, and here's the first round it gave me. To be honest, I wasn't 100% happy with the first direction, so I gave it a bit more feedback and asked for something stronger and bolder, similar to the style it hinted at in one of the examples. From here, it created a new set of visuals, and one of them really clicked. I selected that one, and LoveArt began generating brand variations. So it was full identity system, color palette with primary and accent colors, typography choices, logo mockups, and other branded elements. Once I had the direction I liked, I asked Loveheart to help design a homepage using this new branding. I even provided my current website as a reference and asked it to adapt the layout using the new look. It responded fast, and here's what it came up with. You can see how it looks in desktop view and also on mobile which is great for previewing responsiveness. This gives me a really solid starting point if I decide to move forward with the rebrand. Next up, I wanted to push LoveArt a bit further, so I asked it to design an entire mid-century home. I started by generating a video walkthrough, and honestly, it came out really clean. No weird camera shakes, no trees flapping in the wind, just a nice, calm animation that helps to set the tone. Now, because it looked so nice, I took it a step further and asked Loveheart to help design specific spaces in that same style. So we have the kitchen, a bedroom with a large suite, a cinema room, and the backyard. It starts generating instantly, and here's what it gave me. We've got the full kitchen first, then the suite, cinema room, and the backyard view. All of them follow the same mid-century mode and color palette, which I liked. For the cinema room, I actually interacted with it mid-process. I click on the image and ask it to add cinema chairs, darken the wall colors and widen the layout. It did most of that, the mood is a bit darker and the chairs are, well, 
The placement could use some fixing. Still, not bad for one prompt. It even created two width variations when I asked for more space. And this is super useful, it generated a floor plan with rough measurements for the kitchen. Really handy if you are moving from concept to actually layout planning. So, there you have it, my full review of this new AI agent. Would you like me to continue covering this tool? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to explore loveart.ai and start designing now. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Love Art launches on July 23rd. Before this full release, over 1 million users were on the waitlist. But now, there's no more waitlist and no more codes. Everyone can use it. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.